Hey everyone, welcome back with me Nathan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to leverage the Kilo Code Review feature to reveal your code faster and with fewer mistakes. So Kilo Code has launched an integration with GitHub that allows it to automatically analyze your pull requests using AI. It can review code the moment a PR is open or updated, and it will analyze your changes to provide structured feedback across performance, security, style, and task coverage. The agent can also help you detect bugs, security risks, and anti-patterns in your code base. Next, let me show you how to use this feature. First, you need to go to KiloCode website at kilocode.ai and then sign in to your account. Once you're inside, go to the code reviews menu which you can find in the sidebar and this is where you can customize the code review process. But first, you need to install the Kilo GitHub app so that Kilo Code can access your GitHub repositories. Just click on the install GitHub app button and follow the process to get Kilo Code integrated with your GitHub account. You can select whether to let Kilo Code access all of your repositories or just selected ones. I will select all for now and then click install and authorize. Once the process is complete, you will be redirected to Kilo Code and now you should see Kilo Code integrated with your GitHub account. Next, click on the code reviews menu again. Over here, enable the code review feature and now you can customize the review options. First, you can choose the AI model you would like to use for code review. You can use the free or paid models. The paid ones will cost your credits when the agent performs model reasoning in the process. I will use the free grok model for this demo. And then there's the review style. You can choose between strict, balanced, or lenient. Strict flags all potential issues with a strong focus on quality and security. Lenient, on the other hand, only highlights the most critical bugs and problems. I'll leave it on balanced for now, which sits right in the middle between strict and lenient. Next, we have repository selection. This is where you can choose which repository should trigger the code review feature automatically. You can select all repositories or just selected ones. I will choose selected repos here, and then just select one, which is the Next.js CRM dashboard project. I'm going to show you this repository content later. After that, we have focus areas, and this is where you can direct the agent's attention during the code review. You're free to choose which areas you want to focus on, and for this demo, I will select bug detection and code style. Next, we have the maximum review time, which ranges from 5 to 30 minutes. For now, I'll set it to 5 minutes so the review runs quickly. Next, we have optional custom instructions, and this is where you can add any extra context you want the AI to consider when reviewing your code. I'll set mine to focus on Next.js best practices, since that's the framework I'm mostly working with. If you're not sure what to put here, you can also just leave it empty. Once the code review configuration is completed, save your changes by clicking the Save button here. And that's it. Any code reviews run by Kilo Code later will appear in this Jobs tab. It's empty right now, but we'll come back here after we create a pull request. Next, in VS Code here, I already have the code from the repository. So this is a CRM dashboard project built using Next.js. Let me show you the project real quick. On the browser here, we can see the dashboard page. And then for this demo, we're going to make improvements to the sales pipeline page. In this page, there are deals data displayed as cards. When I click on the card, it should show the deals in detail, but right now, nothing happens. The cards should also have drag and drop feature, so I can drag it to any of these other columns easily. So we're going to make those improvements using Kilo Code. Back in VS Code, open the Kilo Code interface and then prompt it to adjust the sales pipeline page, show deal detail when I click on deal card, and allow me to drag and drop cards to pipeline stages. Now before we press enter, let's create a new branch as we're going to create a pull request for these changes. Open the terminal, run git checkout, and now the new branch is created, uh, so let's run the prompt. Kilo Code will process this request as usual, so I will skip a bit to when it's finished. Alright, so the agent has finished applying the changes. Let's test it on the browser real quick. So we can drag and drop the cards around the columns here, which is nice. And then we can also click on the card to view the information in detail. Alright, let's get back to VS Code, comment the changes, and then push it to GitHub. Now in GitHub, we can see the recent push. 
So let's compare and create a pull request. And then on this screen, let's add some description. I will describe the changes here and then click create pull request. Now the pull request is created and this should trigger the code review automatically. Let's go back to Kilo Code platform and yes, we can see a new code review job is running on the screen. If you want to see the progress logs, you can click the view progress button and this shows how the AI processes the request and reasons through the code changes behind the scenes. After a few minutes, the model responded with review completed here. So let's go back to GitHub pull request page. And over here, we can see the review has been completed. The Kilo bot left a comment here. No issues found, 4 files reviewed, and confidence score is 95%. It's clear to merge, and then there's also review details over here where you can see what has been checked, the key changes reviewed, and the analysis. Alright, that's basically how you can use the Kilo Code Reviews feature. If you want to learn more about this feature, you can refer to the documentation here. It explains everything in more detail. This feature is ideal for teams that want consistent, real-time pull request reviews. It also works really well for small teams that don't have a dedicated code reviewer. AI can also help with a large repository where issues are easy to miss. It's like having an extra set of eyes watching over your code base. Overall, this feature helps you ship code faster. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now you've learned how to use the Kilo Code Review feature. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I help you build profitable apps and projects using AI and other tools. Make sure to subscribe if that's something you find useful. Don't forget to like this video, turn on the notification bell, all that good stuff as it really helps the channel to grow. With that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye!